This is April Corcoran with the Las Vegas Weekly. I'm here with Donald Schultz with, at Venom in Vegas here on the Las Vegas Strip. We are in a tank with 60 snakes right now and there will be 100 by the end of the week, right? That's correct. Uh, we're basically adding five snakes every day till we get to 100. We started with some of the big guns of the snake world, but every day it gets more and more dangerous because we're adding bigger and scarier snakes, things like mambas and cobras and that. Okay. So we, we're actually dealing with the, the most I'd say dangerous snake in North America, the most dangerous snake in Africa, and probably the most feared snake in the world. And do you have a favorite snake out of all of the ones that are in here? So this is a, when you ask what my favorite snake is, this is my favorite snake in the world, I think. Um, this is a Gaboon Viper. It's got a, the longest fangs of any snake in the world. They get to two and a half inches long and they have a cardiotoxic and, and cytotoxic venom that can kill you in less than an hour. I know people have been bitten and collapsed shortly afterwards because of massive shock. So, I mean, tell me why we're here. Why are you doing Venom in Vegas? We, um, I have a show on Animal Planet called Wild Recon that's on a Tuesday night at 9 p.m. And when we shot this, we went to all these countries, worked with these amazing animals, and saw them in their natural habitat. And the more research we did, we found you know, in excess of 5 million people get bitten every year, and in excess of 100,000 die. So I said, what, what way can we bring this to the, 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 the attention of human beings? And basically the idea was bring a bunch of these big deadly snakes to the middle of a big city and spend a bunch of time with them. There's probably about 30 snakes in a single bush. Um, it's really difficult to estimate numbers of snakes to show snakes don't want to kill us. There's rattlesnakes all around us, there's, there's vipers. They're not jumping out and trying to kill us. They just want to live their lives. But at the same time, when people do get bitten, try and get an effective treatment for these people in these, these underprivileged countries. Okay, great. And how many times have you been bitten as a snake handler? Um, serious bites, I've had a few. Um, the, the worst was a rattlesnake bite where I lost my fingertip. And how difficult is it to sleep here? I mean, that the bed is raised, so I'm sure you don't have to worry about snakes coming in there, but... Well, I mean, we, the very first day we were in here, yeah, we watched the snake go straight up the wall onto that camera over there. So yeah, they can get into the bed. And once the mambas come in here, yeah, that actually emulates what a mamba would normally sleep in because they like going up. So it's actually gonna get a lot more dangerous. This is a local snake. Um, this is a speckled rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are highly evolved. They have an auditory defense system. So it's rattling and saying, leave me alone. I don't want to bite you. The institute we're working with, Viper, is going to take a lot of the venom samples and snakes for ongoing research and education uh, once the project's done. Thank you so much. That's an absolute pleasure and, and hopefully a lot of goodwill comes out of this and a lot of people learn about snakes and snake bites. All right, awesome. Stay safe and Great. I'll go out now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Boom! <laughs>